Hey guys, it's Sam Abad and yeah, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my business class experience with Virgin Atlantic. I had such a good time, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so this is my seat. As you can see, it's like super spacious. Um, as soon as I walked in, I got greeted with like water, orange juice. Like honestly, it was so, so nice. And yeah, they gave me one of the best seats as well, which I was really, really grateful for. Okay, so everyone in business class gets given this little goodie bag. So I'm going to uh, take you lot through exactly where you get in the goodie bag. So yeah, this is just me trying to open it. Um, so yeah, you get given like this socks. I mean, this socks looks like a, like a five-year-old socks. I was thinking, there's no way I'm putting down my feet. You also get given like this face mask, you know, COVID and that to stay safe. Then you get given this pen. Um, sorry, my camera was absolutely not trying to focus right now. But yeah, it says Virgin Atlantic on it. You also get given this toothbrush that says bamboo brush on it. I actually use this toothbrush and let me tell you something. That toothbrush is solid. I don't know if it's because I was flying to Nigeria, but that toothbrush was absolutely rock. It actually hurt me. But anyway, you get this eye mask as well, obviously for your um, for sleep to help you sleep properly. Um, you get a couple of wipes, I think. Yeah, you get well-being wipes. Um, what else do you get? I think these are all wipes as well. Yeah, all bare wipes, but I don't know why you need that many wipes. Um, I think, my, I do apologize about this camera by the way, but um, yeah, I think this is cream, body cream, um, for if you do get a shower, which I didn't, I don't think, no, I didn't. Um, I think these are earplugs. So yeah, you get loads of like random things, to be honest. Um, I actually did not even take or use most of the things I got given. Um, my mom was actually shouting at me. She said she, I should have brought it for her. I literally just left everything there, which is bad to be honest, because I paid a lot of money for this flight. But yeah, those are the random things you get. I think that's a lip balm as well. I don't know what I was using a lip balm for or why I would have needed a lip balm, but yeah. You also get like this um, little chair in front of your seat. So you can either stretch your legs or you could probably just sit on it if you're tired of sitting in your chair, which is actually very, very um, convenient. You also have the option to convert your seat into a bed, which I actually done, but unfortunately I didn't record it because by the time I laid on that bed, I literally fell straight asleep. And when I woke up, I was already in Nigeria. So yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend using it if you do fly, fly business class. The customer service um, from Virgin Atlantic was actually very, very good. Um, because the flight was dead and I wanted to sleep, she converted like a totally different seat for me and turned into a bed and obviously I was able to leave my actual seat the way it was, which was very, very convenient because I was just going back and forth. All right, so because I was flying nighttime, um, I got the options of three um, courses. So I got the dinner, dessert and breakfast when I woke up. And being in business class as well, you can literally order food as many times as you want. One thing that did throw me off though was the way they spelled jollof rice. I actually googled it and Virgin Atlantic have been flying to Lagos for 18 years and they still don't know how to spell jollof rice. That is absolutely mental. So the food and the drink was unlimited so you can order as much alcohol as you want. So I started off live with a little JD and Coke. And when I tell you that I was absolutely yapped by the time I got to Nigeria fam, I was god. I was just sipping on JD and Coke, just sipping on JD and Coke, and it was so strong. Like, look at my reaction. Like, like there was, I felt like there was more JD in that cup than there was Coke. It tasted so bad, yeah. But I thought, listen, I'm drinking my money's worth. So yeah, I'm just out here, just sipping, sipping, getting absolutely drunk on the plane off JD and Coke, man. It was crazy, but it was such a good experience. Honestly, I would definitely, definitely do it again. Uh, look, <laughs> my reaction. <laughs> wow, you lot should see when I got to Nigeria, but I was absolutely finished. I was gone. Okay, so the food I ordered uh, lemon tart, bread, and some salad. Now, anyone that knows me knows that I'm very selective when it comes to salad. There's a lot of salad that I do not eat, and I just feel like they taste terrible. Like, it's just not for me. But obviously, me being me, thinking, okay, I'm in business class now and um, let me try something different because I've seen a lot of people in business class eating it. I thought, okay, let me try it different. Let me try it. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how people actually yam this and just eat it without being forced to. This shit tastes like ass. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's so bad. I don't know how people, how do people actually eat this kind of food and just be like, yeah, this is nice. Like, I don't understand. I thought I had to humble myself quickly. I spat that shit out. 
there's no way I was swallowing it. It tasted so bad. And I just realized, listen, I'm not posh. This is not me. Okay, on to the jollof rice now. Um, so I took a little taste. And I must say, yeah, I was actually surprised. Because given the fact that they spelled it as jollof, I was expecting it to be dead. But it was actually very, very nice. And I'm Nigerian as well, so I could tell you when the jollof rice is dead and that jollof rice was very very good honestly i absolutely cleared the plate it was up it was gone in literally like 40 seconds i was done so yeah although they couldn't even spell jollof which is still getting me baffled to this day it was really really good okay so i've just had my food and i'm back on jd i think this is my fourth or fifth one they literally just kept bringing it out for me man the way they treated me was so nice but yeah, like when I when I got to Nigeria, I was gone. I was yacked, fam. They were asking me for my passport immigration. My eyes were literally just gone. But anyway, man. Yeah, this is just me. You know, just actually just sitting there deep in. Like, how did I ever get to this point? Because a couple of years ago, my life was a massive, massive struggle. So for me to even be in this position to be able to afford business class is just crazy and mind-boggling. Like, I was just sat there just deep in it. Like, yeah, that's crazy. But, um... Yeah, in total, the the flight cost me, I think it was £1,800, if I remember correctly, um, which is quite a lot of money, but I would say that it is definitely, definitely worth it, especially for the experience. I had such a good time, and they treated me so well. Honestly, I've never been treated so well before in my life. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like, and please subscribe as well. I'm really trying to get to 500. But yeah, thank you lot so much for making it to the end, and I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.